welcome to a very, very special edition of Coffee with Lynette with my very dear friend, Greg Manorino, also known as the Robin Hood of Wall Street. He is a technician extraordinaire. I love this man. And the timing of you coming on today is so critical because there's so much that's going on. So yeah. Greg, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate you. It's been too long. It Thank has you. it has been way, way, way too long. But I want to kick it off, and then we'll just see where it goes. Um, what do you think about the U.S. Uh, recent downgrade of our debt? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it, it's not been, how about this? It's not been downgraded enough. I mean, are you kidding me? I agree. <laughs> This whole thing is fantasy land from uh, you know every angle you want to look at it. We all know that. Everyone that follows our work knows that. They're laughing at it. And, and I think the beauty of it is everyone that follows our work, they saw this coming from a mile away. This whole freaking banking sector downgrade that we just got to, everyone uh -huh. saw that coming. You know, you want to go, it's just not going to stop uh, despite the propaganda. And, and I love that, how, you know, people that follow our work, they are on the cutting edge because, you know, we make sure that we put out information that's on the cutting edge. So it's just so important. But yeah, I, downgrade. OK, whatever. Um, it's it's you know, this is just the beginning. And it's, it's just it's kind of reminds me of the last meltdown here where they were keeping the bonds rated triple A, even though they knew they were worthless. The same kind of thing. This this is debt is, is going to get much, much worse here. The system demands it. Uh, triple A rating, double A plus, whatever. It's 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 still ridiculous. Well, it is. And you had everybody trotting out, you know, Jamie Diamond and and Warren Buffett and, you know, oh, this doesn't matter. The markets are going to determine it. Yeah. But, you well, know, it's funny is how they both responded, Jamie Diamond and Buffett the same way kind yep. of oh it's ridiculous well buffett was like you know you just kind of ignore it you see i think the, the how why jamie diamond came out because he saw the writing on the wall there's no way that he didn't know that his bank was going to be put on uh, a negative watch by moody's along with a slew of other banks here i mean look the, exactly I urge people to go back a year ago and look at the videos i was doing regarding the banking sector i said they're in a lot of trouble for three reasons no deposits no loans and no deals it was all being covered up um then we had this regional bank issue which they want us to believe is contained that it is not right. and this is going to bleed off and is now as of today into the larger institutions and we're going to see a lot more of this moving forward it's it's astonishing to me how the mainstream can you know deflect from it don't talk about it uh you know it's uh again it's it's a mind control it's a psyop thank god there are shows like this that people can get the truth yeah and i think that's uh that our, our audience does appreciate that uh because you know you know look they're gonna find any any other reason to blame and that's what this all is a blame game why things are the way they are everything's falling <laughs> apart falling apart faster and it's got nowhere to go but a lot worse and i think we're all crystal clear on that but again <laughs> you turn on CNBC, Fox Business, Bloomberg, and they're going to tell you a totally different story because right. you see, they're the authority figures. You and me, we're just out here on YouTube. You know, they're on the real big program over there, programs, and they're programming people's brains. And uh, it's an unfortunate thing. It really is. Oh, it is. But well, what do you think about the soft landing? Or maybe we won't even have a recession after all because we've been waiting for it for so long. What do you yeah. think about that conversation that they keep having? Which is ridiculous. Of course, that's what, that's what they got to do. It's, it's all the same thing. It's a deception. It's a distraction. People are maxed out. What else did we find out just today? Um, you know, uh, not only are people burying themselves in debt more so yeah. than they ever have before, but now they're actually having no choice but to cut back. Uh, on spending, which, uh, you know, look, the economy is, it, it's dead. It's been on life support for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's being propped up on easy money. And people believe if they can keep the market propped up, it's a, it, people believe that the economy is strong. Um, and it's, that's a deceptive tactic that's been going on since forever. It's just easy money. Morgan Stanley yesterday said the stock market would be much lower if it were not for all this excessive, <laughs> in their words, government spending. I mean, look, all this stuff that we, we've, been, we've been covering for so long, it's, it's all here. It's in our face. And, and, and I think people really need to stop paying attention because, it, you know, this is not going to get better. I don't oh. know what people believe. They're hoping for uh, some kind of saving grace. I'm sorry it ain't happening. Uh, just prepare, have the high ground all the time. Be ready for what's exactly. coming. I think I think they're gonna throw another. Uh, I mean, I know for a fact 
that they're going to throw another crisis at us and another crisis followed by another crisis because that's how we function right now. I want people to be ready for that. Be ready for anything because uh, that's how we function these days. It's an unbelievable situation. But what can I tell you? I think you and I, you and I specifically have prepared our followers very well. I really think so. Thank you. I, I appreciate that compliment. We, you know, we all do our best out there. I mean, do you think that the inflation is under control? Do you think that it's really going down? I mean, <laughs> no, they're going to continue to inflate and inflate and inflate and then find other reasons to inflate even more. It can't stop. It's the nature of the freaking beast. And I, again, going back, I think our followers understand that we're going to see much more of this year, more reasons to pull cash into the now expanding wars, perpetual wars, other reasons. Yeah. Uh, to continue to borrow, 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 borrow. And all this, that's, you know, people, they look and say, okay, we're sending X amount of billions over there and X amount of billions. This is massively inflationary. And the Fed keeping yeah. rates low, uh, you know, uh, even though we're getting these incremental raises to the federal funds rate, how do they manage to keep rates at a certain level? They got to get into the market and make it happen. Then they're not magical. So it's, right, you know, exactly. All this entire process is inflationary. Um, we know for a fact that global debt is going to balloon from here. What do we hear? Every developed nation, developed nation around the world, oh, we're going to be spending more, spending more. There's no spending cuts. They never, they can't be. Right. You see, people don't understand that the, the I, I call it a direct, well, it's a collusion between central banks and their so, the so-called leaders. And I believe sincerely that the world is run by central banks. Who controls oh, yeah. the economy? It's central banks. Who I controls agree. the markets? It's central banks. Who controls the entire financial system? It's central banks. So they run the show and they're going to make sure that they, that they continue to inflate. I tell people all the time, a central bank's power resides in one thing and one thing only, and that is their ability to inflate. This is why you're going to see much more of this moving forward. So this whole farce of controlling inflation and we're going to get it under oh. control by raising the federal funds rate 25 basis points. What did we have? The Fed followed by the ECB, followed by the Bank of England, all just coincidence. They all did these little incremental 25 basis point hikes here and they're, going, they're promising us that inflation is going to get better. And I'll tell you the worst part of it, and, and I'm, you, know, you know this already, is you got food inflation outpacing oh everything. Oh my God, you yeah. Still got, you know, energy, energy costs, we haven't seen anything yet. I've been telling people, and I'm, I would imagine you would agree, commodities, commodities, commodities is what people need to be. I've been using those three, you know, you watch the, the, the television commercials, the repeat things three times, there's a reason for that. Um, so I've been doing the same thing, telling, because I believe sincerely this is where people need to be. As you know, I'm the probably mm -hmm. the, one of the biggest gold and silver, especially silver advocates on the planet. I think it's the most undervalued asset in the world. Absolutely. Looking at just the Dow Jones Industrial Average gold <laughs> ratio than the gold silver ratio, because people always ask me, well, how, why do you come up with this, Greg? Why do you believe that? Well, I just... Do your own homework here. It's history. Dow, gold ratio, gold, silver ratio. And then you can see what I'm talking mm -hmm. about because I believe, and I, I would love to hear your take on this. Let's let's bounce off each other real quick. Yeah, absolutely. I believe that we are going to see, and obviously this stock market is in la la, in a place way beyond la la land right now. You know, PE ratios, full <laughs> guidance, but it doesn't matter it's, anymore. Right. You know, it's, Nothing it's matters freak anymore. Freak show. Mm -hmm. So, and, and we don't know. No one knows where the bottom is here. What we do know is that Dow 6,000 last meltdown is where the Fed started QE1, correct? Okay, so understanding that, where's the bottom? We don't know where the bottom is, but what I do believe is we're gonna get a one-to-one -one with gold. Dow, oh, yeah. gold, one-to-one. -one. Maybe, I mean, it depends how extreme it gets, but one-to-one -one is probably a, a best case scenario once the market comes down. So let's say we get a Dow 6,000, we're talking about 6,000 gold, and then a 15, maybe even a 10 to one with regard to ratio to silver. Um, again, what I try to tell people is when, when markets crash or uh, a particular, uh, let's say asset class decides to you know bleed off, that cash doesn't fly away to money heaven, it just right. moves. moves, it just moves through the markets. So we're gonna see a exactly. movement of cash, I believe into commodities on a, in, in a massive way when this and why commodities because they're real things and not like some like digits on a screen they're real so that's why i, th I think commodities for the long run are the place to be and i've been you know trying to uh, explain that to people as a, for a while now